Tony's mod time. It's mod time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. Mod time. Start off with some updates. Production revamp gets an update. 1.2. New translation. Spanish, Italian, French. Built-in priority system. Buy function built in, which is very cool. Now you can buy products into these if you don't have them. Installed production spawner script. That could be pretty interesting as well. Uh, installed production spawner script. Right. Sell point script installed. That could be very cool. Line break implemented. Colored recipes. There's different colors on the different ways you can go about it maximum storage quantities and sorting of productions field type category support added display and object display and warehouse spawn script installed empty pallets production gets the same thing mod hub update these go together next we have german road signs adjust the weight of the shields for console players now wearable i don't know what that means eh. redirects cannot be set up and numbered so you get different numbers for your redirects Iker 2090. Added simple IC. Removable fenders. RUL attachable. Added guidance steering. Tire selection expanded. And minor I3D changes. The Mac AR came out yesterday. Got a quick update. Fixed a collision issue with the IT runner body. So, pretty quick update. Saw the problem. Got it fixed. Cal Farm gets updated. Reduce the size of the file. Expand the feeding capacity of the animals, so cows get 100,000 liters for liquid manure. Milk is 345,000 liters, which is a lot. Straw, 260. Food, 200,000 liters. Uh, sheeps, cows, it does a lot of that. More food, more room for food. New mods, workshop trigger. Placeable workshop trigger, when you repairs, washes, and paints the vehicle 100% when the trigger's passed over. You don't have to get out, you just drive over. Repairs, washes, and paints. So it has a $4,000 maintenance per day, and that is because repair and painting and the trigger is free of charge. So everything you do there is free of charge. And you're going to pay four grand a day for it. That is up to you how you want to do it. Um, there are mods out there for PC that you can change the repair costs. If you want it for free and you'd rather pay per day, this is great. I think this is a cool mod. I would... You know, personally, I would not have it four grand per day. Um, but it's an option. It's a cool option. Just drive over it. Everything's back to, to square one. This one is PC only, just so you know. We got a caravan. It is a sleep trigger. It's got open doors. It's only a grand. It says, uh, ideal for beginner farmers. It's a small footprint sleep trigger. You know, if you're starting to start from scratch... No Man's Land, Western Wild, something. You know, put this out there. Sleep in there for a while until you grow up, get bigger. Kind of neat. We got a small garage for 30 grand. Kind of a neat look. A few different doors there. Looks like you can fit some reasonable sized equipment in there. Nothing too big, but it is a nice looking small garage. Grain storage. You got a three bay and a four bay. The triple is 18,000. The quadruple is 25 grand. It's a good looking building. You can store crops in there. If you want, park your vehicles in there. It's up to you. Next, we have a garage with chicken coop. European style. It's block. It's got chicken coops in there. 30,000. Holds 50 chickens. And it's got the garage. So you can park your stuff. Got your chickens next door. Olive tree. I really like this mod. Omatana does some really interesting stuff. Um, you can grow olives on real trees. It works like a greenhouse. Just a different look. Been waiting for stuff like this for a long time. Now, with Omatana stuff, she's got it set up where you can grow with only water or in combination with seeds, fertilizer, or manure. You get more production if you add those extra products. Um, you get a wooden box that spawns. Each tree is a grand, and she is kind enough to put down that it's only one slot on console. Only thing I would like to see just slightly different than this is that if this could make it work like the bee spawner does. So you could plant these trees, put down one spawn point for the pallets, 
So if you put down six trees, you'd have one spawn point for those six trees. Kind of like the beehives are. One spawn point for the honey. That would be amazing. It's amazing as it is. I love this mod. I hope she does more with the different trees, different fruits. I think it would be awesome. Anhydrous ammonia add-on. This is PC only as well. Comes with a storage tank there. It's 25 grand. Holds 40,000 liters. It holds both liquid fur and anhydrous. I did put this on my farm today. It's a cool looking tank. You walk up to it. You know, you purchase in your anhydrous or your liquid fur. And you put this on your field and you can fill up your different vehicles. Now, currently, it works with the John Deere 1775 NT 2022 planter that is on the mod hub. Obviously, this is PC only. It works with that uh, slurry spreader down there. That's Samson. Um, Samson Agro PG 235M. And an SD700 cultivator injector. So, I've been told that the slurry is not realistic. It's the slurry spreader. But there are other products out there for PC to put anhydrous on. This puts it on the map. You can buy it in. Don't have to add anything. Now he goes on to say the ADRX tanks will support anhydrous. Um, there are other ways you can do this. He says any implements of type fertilizing cultivator or fillable implement. The ability to store liquids or pull a liquid caddy will automatically accept anhydrous. So again, there's multiple out there. I've got a couple sent to me today already. Um, the toolbars will work for anhydrous and the anhydrous lua file contains many base game sprayers and injectors that can be enabled by simply uncommenting the appropriate lines so he's going to give you examples how to do this i don't know where the example is but you could if you want to get crazy and add this to other stuff you can it's an easy way to put anhydrous on your map i like it it works with precision farming pretty cool We got a bale pusher. Normally I just use my front tires for pushing a bale, but this is something you're supposed to do, not use your front tires. 300 bucks, push your bale, get it the right size so you can pick it up in your bale loader. So those are GHC Avare. 80 horsepower, 3,500 bucks. It's a grazing brush cutter. It is an old school looking, just medieval looking mod. Says he's got three of them attached on there. I don't know how that's going to work. Do not couple more than one tandem or you get unwanted collisions. Um, iron wheels, max transport series 20 kph. So it's not going to be fast. It's 1.8 meters wide. It's cheap. It's kind of cool. Next we have the Agrimet TerraJet. This is PC only as well. 27,600. 220 horsepower required. It will cultivate and roll at the same time. So you get your cultivation state and a seed bed at the same time. Drag it behind six meters. Not huge, but it does two things at once. It's going to cultivate and give you seed bed. Very nice. Also for PC only, this hull built log trailer, triple axle, North American style, 80 grand. It's in forestry equipment. You get color options, tension belts, connection hoses, triple axle. Looks like you got three stacks of probably eight meters there. Again, PC only the bergman hdw45 it's 89 grand it's 45,000 liters it's a bergman trailer we've seen plenty of these before you got another option right here next we got the tractor processor wood harvester implement on a three-point hitch so you put this on the front of your tractor it has got a crane you pick up your log you bring it into the shredder the harvester it's got working camera, working lights, um, 70 grand, 190 horsepower, crane lengths, eight meters. A new, a different way to do forestry. If you don't want to get a big har forwarder, harvester, put this on your tractor, get to places, cut them down by hand, drag them through, and cut them to varying lengths. Next for PC only, Ursus C 3120. 92 grand it goes from 115 to 125 horsepower. Again, a couple engine configurations, wheels, rims, colors, different weights. Can be compatible with simple IC and compatible with precision farming. 
nice smaller tractor again for all platforms here is the international 1455 and 1255 got a lot of different options starts at 43 that 42,390 125 horsepower there are two varieties there 1255 and 1455 you got front weights, front plates, front hydraulics, front loaders, exhaust, all the good stuff you can add to it for a very nice looking IH. Next, we got an older gen, apparently, Fent 900 S4. 272 grand. Starts at 305 horsepower. You got 366 option and a 396 option, so it's a pretty good size. Base colors, rim colors, warning signs, and beacon lights, and a bunch of wheel configurations. It's a different looking vent to me, to my eye. It is uh, pretty interesting. It's a good looking tractor. Nice horsepower. Not too expensive. Next, we got the MF 3000 series. Again, this one has a bunch of different horsepower options. And just a little bit confusing on the engine configurations. With the different series and the different engine configurations. Basically, you're going, you know, 115 is your starting point for 48 grand the 3100 large is 55 grand you know your 3125 is 126 horsepower 3600 66 grand 113 horsepower bunch of different engine configurations again it's a little bit older gen mf tractor it is nice i do like it that is a quick run through of today's mods some interesting stuff you got anhydrous you got plantable olive tree well not plantable Placeable olive trees. Go single. No more vines. If you like these videos, make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit that subscribe. And please, please, please leave comments down below. Tell me what you like, what you didn't like, so we can get better. And until then... Tony's my time. It's my time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony. And these are the mods. My time. <laughs>